meet argon, a noble gas. If brought at minus 186 degrees, it becomes liquid. Liquid argon is a very powerful detector of particles. In fact, when particles interact with it, they leave footprints behind, which we can see. We have two types of footprints, light and electric charge, that is electrons. Light may be seen by photosensors, charge may be collected by some sort of charge sensors. Another cool thing of argon is that it is transparent to the light footprints. Not only, electrons can travel undisturbed several meters before reaching the charge sensors. This means we can build big particle detectors with liquid argon and still be able to detect the footprints left behind by interactive particles. How big? Currently, two liquid argon detectors at CERN, called protodunes, hold 700 tons of liquid argon in a 10 by 10 by 10 cubic meters cryostat. But electrons can travel several meters undisturbed on their way to the charge readout only if they don't get trapped by electronegative impurities, that is, impurities that love electrons. We say that the liquid argon needs to be pure for electrons not to be trapped too soon. In other words, electrons need to have a long lifetime. But how pure is pure? In protodune, we need less than one oxygen molecule for every one billion atoms of argon to drift electrons up to six meters. How can we tell if our argon is pure? We need a device to measure its purity. Sounds hard, huh? Yeah, it is. But together with colleagues at UCL, we developed a purity monitor for liquid argon. What we actually measure is not the number of oxygen molecules, though but instead the time it takes for some number of electrons to decrease by two-thirds. This is called electron lifetime and we denote it with the Greek letter tau. How does this purity monitor work? Deep ultraviolet light shines a silver plate, which we call photocathode. When heated by energetic photons, silver emits electrons. This is called photoelectric effect. These electrons are drifted upward toward another plate in stainless steel, which we call the anode, by means of an electric field. We measure the number of electrons born at the photocathode and the ones that make it to the anode. The difference tells us how pure the argon is. In fact, if some electrons didn't make it to the anode, they must have been trapped along the way. Mathematically, this is expressed in the following way. Where Nc is the number of electrons born at the photocathode, Na is the number that makes it all the way up to the anode, T is the time it takes to go from the photocathode to the anode, which we can measure, and tau is the electron lifetime, which tells us how pure our liquid argon is. And with argon pure enough, seeing particles will be less tough.